Dear John. Dear Sam. John and me have known each other since 1963. I don't know how I ever began writing plays. I certainly didn't decide to. I just found myself writing. Sam would come in and say, hey, I'm taking everybody out to dinner. I just bought a house for us all. I see this gruffy looking kid. I said, hey, I saw your play last night. I was curious what drug you wrote it on. We're working on this book of letters. It's collected letters from over a span of about 40 years. Dear John, how come out of all the people I've come across in this life that you and me somehow hit it off as partners? John lives in Deming, New Mexico. He works in a Mexican deli. He doesn't have any friends. He doesn't want any friends. He's completely hermetic. It's a very sensuous experience. Sam never stops moving. I feel rootless. I think I am rootless, essentially. And I'm exactly the opposite. What it is is that we complement each other. It's not that you need to be the same, it's just that you need to fit. <coughs> what are you from? <coughs> but I'm not Don't really. Don't do that anymore. <laughs> not... <laughs> My life is falling apart. You know, I can see that the mistakes that I continue to make are in these letters. I feel like he's suffering, you know, and I feel helpless. Dear John, yesterday me and Jessica drove into Duluth. I can't describe the feeling I had walking side by side with her, knowing this was her hometown. <clears throat> I can't do this right now. With friendships, you're encountering sides of a person, and you like some sides but you don't like all the sides. John, I think you're really onto something with this happiness thing, that somehow the gauge for how you're doing in this life has to be around happiness. Otherwise, what the hell's the point? Dear Sam, I'll never let us lose touch. Your pal, Johnny. Your old compadre, Sam.